Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm super excited to do today's project. We are gonna be using artist-free products today, and the reason why I love it is because, uh, the, the main reason is that if, I love sublimation projects, but if you do not have the budget that's ready to do a sublimation printer, this is a great alternative where you get to use the blanks um, and the ink and more of like a drawn uh, stamping uh, medium. So what I mean by that is you don't have to print anything. You don't need your sublimation printer, but you get the same results. These are forever lasting when you're using the sublimation blanks. So today's blank, we're actually doing an ornament. So I actually did a project and I realized that I didn't record it so I'm redoing it <laughs> but it's better because that kind of gave me the dry run so the second reason though before we get started on this that I love these projects is that it's pretty instantaneous so I do a lot of crafting with my daughter her friends um, but I also do a lot of crafting with Girl Scout troops. And so um, this is one of the things that I love to bring along because it is instantaneous. They can draw it, I can bring along the markers, they can draw, they can stamp, they have fun. They also, and then I bring my heat press, the Cricut heat press, uh, or the easy press. And so everything's easy to travel with. And you just need to see their faces when they see what they worked on and they get to bring home something that is forever and beautiful and theirs. It's pretty amazing. So anyway, I know I'm, I'm just talking away about sublimation and artistry products, but it's really fun. It's great if you have kids uh, or if you like to do projects like that, where you get to do something and turn it around and show them that, um, Here's their beautiful thing all ready to go. So, all right, what I did earlier was I did this. I um, did Christmas lights and those lights, I use these colors right here. They're beautiful. I absolutely love, so I use these four colors. These are the four colors that you see and look at how vibrant they are. They really, to me, feel like lipstick colors. Um, let me just do this again, sorry keeping my heat press on um but the lights what's cool about them is that i actually put them on my fingers actually i don't know if you can still see it and they have my fingerprints they don't come out as clear like you don't get the full fingerprint details but you get enough of it and honestly if this was my daughter's and it was her fingerprints i'm keeping it forever <laughs> I am a hoarder of all things that my daughter makes. So I would love to have an ornament of hers every year on the tree. That would make me super happy. What's also nice about this is it's metallic, so it's not going to break. I have some other ones that, she, you know, that I'm really nervous about putting out there because it'd be devastating if it broke. But um, these are the metal ornaments. They come in a set of two and they're on both sides. That's so kind of nice. You kind of get like four surfaces to actually create something so anyway i finished this one so let me show you how i did that so basically i well i'm going to do it again right now but i'm going to show you the original so i traced the blank and then in pencil i traced the blank in pencil and then i drew out my string also in pencil and then i did my fingerprinting um afterwards i drew in the black line so i knew where everything goes so we're going to be doing the same thing right now i am going to be using my fingerprints but i did want to do a test that if i use the ink pad would i get different results for my for my fingerprints so we're going to try that um all right here is a laser print laser printer paper and that's what you're going to need in order for the ink to transfer onto here so I have my laser printer paper and then I'm going to take my pencil and again just trace the outline so I know exactly what's going to fit on my ornament. And what's great about using pencil is the pencil won't transfer over because it is not sublimation ink. So there's, oops, let me put the little hole down. Okay. So, and I'm actually, if you, can you see that a little bit, right? I should have made it a little bit darker but you can see the outline now. Um, I'm gonna be using this stencil, and if you look at it, you can see that the 
the letters are reversed, right? Because they have to be. Our image, when we go to press this, so here's my image, it needs to be flipped over and the ink needs to be touching the blank. So it's sort of like iron on, you do the reverse, the mirror image. Same thing with this. So if you do anything with um, letters or numbers, you have to keep that in mind. Or you can use the stencils um, through Artist Spree because they're ready to go. Um, all right, so it needs to be this way, right, right. <laughs> So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my thumbprint as the heart, as love, and then I'm gonna put Anne. So let's see, I'm gonna want the heart on this side, love, because I want love and, so yeah. So the two hearts are gonna go over here, and then the A and then the N. So I'm gonna use the same set of colors and I know it's kind of hard to see until I start doing this. All right, I'm gonna do the A and the N just to test this out. And I can't wait to do the other ornaments later as a family event. It'll be so cute. Okay, and I'm gonna try to remember all my tips that I said the first time around, <laughs> um, which is I store, my um my markers like this but right before flat so right before i'm about to do the project though i have them sitting up in a cup like this so that all the ink goes down and it's ready to be used um the other thing that i'm going to show you in a second after i spell my name so give me a second here is i am using and i'm actually going to take this mat out for a second we're going to use it later when we're heating it it's the silicone mat. It is very cool because I'm gonna show you what my Cricut mat looks like and how it got all messed up. <laughs> so let me do my N. So a lot of my stamps work well with the sublimation ink pad, but you know, obviously nothing with the with letters and numbers. But if you have an ink, um, a light pad then you can use the light pad switch it over and trace it I've definitely done that before so all right so I have that I'm gonna do my fingerprint right now so here we go I'm gonna take this out okay so I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna do my index finger because it's easier for me to to do that okay so I'm gonna do this one side of the heart the second side of the heart Okay, I'm gonna put this back and move it out of the way. Okay, and I'm just gonna wipe the excess on here. Okay, um, all right, and then I want a little, let's see, so the heart is gonna be this way. I want the comma over here, whoa. All right, so that's down, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my blank. That just disappeared on me, here we go. Here's the blank. All right, so this side was already done. I'm now putting my name on the other side. I'm just gonna put it down exactly over my stencil, like where I had it before, right? Then I'm going to tape it down into place. And I'm using heat resistant tape. So you, for me, my advice is to, um, is to tape it from behind because it's heat resistant tape. So if you taped it on the other side, wherever you have this tape, it will block the heat there. So you don't want that at all. You wanna do it on the other side and not block any heat coming onto your blank or your substrate. Um, substrate is technically the, the term for it, but we use blanks pretty, um, interchangeably so all right here we go so that's all down I'm gonna bring out my mat again so this is the mat that I love it's silicone so nothing sticks to it the colors don't get absorbed on here which is different than my Cricut mat my Cricut mat has HTV on there because I accidentally got it on there and it's got a bunch of colors from previous sublimation projects what happens is like you know I like to draw past my project 
um, because sometimes it's just more free flowing to go past and not be limited to that piece. And then you also don't get things that get cut off. Um, but what happens is if I'm not careful, this piece can be absorbed into my mat, but not on this beautiful thing. So <laughs> just wanted to share that little thing. All right, so I need my protective sheet. So I'm just gonna cut off a piece here. And I'm gonna put it on my mat even though I don't think I need to, but I'm going to because I'm careful. I'm gonna put it down like this and put my blank on top, right? So it's totally covered. And then I'm gonna put this on top. And actually because it's this, I'm gonna put a double layer just in case. All right, and then I'm gonna bring my um, heat press up, okay? So I have my heat press at 400 degrees for 75 seconds. So while that's going, if you don't have an easy press that can go up to 400 degrees, like the Easy Press One, um, the recommendation is, give me one second, I'm gonna pull it up, is um, to add 30 seconds. So 75 seconds plus 30, so 105 seconds. Um, if you're using an iron, you wanna put it at your highest setting. So that would be your linen, um, dry iron, so no steaming, linen or your highest setting, and then you can check. I'm gonna show you how to check the ink, and if it still didn't um, go through exactly the way that you hoped, add more heat. Um, and I've definitely done that before, and. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't totally peel it off so that everything lines up perfectly still and then you apply the extra heat. Um, all right, what else can I tell you in the last 15 seconds? Um, the colors that you saw on the paper, it's going to be lighter and less vibrant than what happens once the heat hits it. So I'm going to pull this off. These, the inks are gonna come out um, a little bit more dull than you would expect, but then once it hits, you'll see the change in color. And actually, I can show you right here. So these are the colors that I used in the lights earlier, and this is what it looks like. So there's that one, and look at how much more. It's like a deeper wine. That one's so much prettier once it hits. Okay, so there's that. Um, there's that color, and then there's this color. All right, so what you wanna do is I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna see if I can peek under, and you can kinda see it went through, right? You can see the two colors there for the and, and then let me see if I can peek up this way. I could probably take out one of these tapes and still keep these three in place, so that if I need to, it will drop back where it was intended to go. Oh, okay, it's good. All right, so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you the fingerprint. So the fingerprint has the details, so much more in detail through the ink pad than the marker. But honestly, if you wanted the color, I would do it in the marker um, because you know, like if my daughter did this, I would still be super, super happy with it, even though it has less details than the ink, than the ink pad. All right, this thing is still hot. So <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna get the right materials for this, but I'm so impatient and I just want to like pull it up, so. I know, but I don't wanna ruin my blank either. Oh no, I just added that. Okay. Right, how fun is this? So you have this side and then you have this side. So, um, so many different ways to use it. Ooh, that was hot. 
<laughs> so you can see, I think you can even see on camera the details of my fingerprint. So super fun. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this inspires some other new idea. And if you have one, please tell me in comments so that I can build on that idea as well. But I hope this was fun for you as much as it was for me. All of the materials are on the Artistry website. You can link through for um, through my comments or through the, the body of this tutorial. And I would get an affiliate um, uh, it's an affiliate link, so I do get a portion of the sales. So that would be amazing. Um, and that's all I have for you. So let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.